Did you know that there's an ETF that sells covered calls? So I decided to put them to the test with a 30-day challenge. It's completely true. There are ETFs whose business and profit model is based upon selling covered calls. Now, these aren't new. They've been around for a while. It's just that many investors don't know about them. Now, for me personally, I've never invested one, so this is going to be my first experience. And it's better that I use my money instead of you using yours. So don't take the risk. I'll do it for you. So I decided to put one of these to the test and see how it performs after 30 days. Ticker symbol QYLD is an ETF or an exchange traded fund that follows a covered call strategy and focuses on utilizing stocks that are in the NASDAQ 100 index. In other words, this fund buys stocks in the NASDAQ 100 index and then sells covered calls utilizing the shares that it holds as collateral. Does that sound familiar? Well, it should. They're doing exactly what I'm doing as an option trader, and hopefully you are as well. So for the shares that we hold directly in our portfolio, we're using them as collateral and selling covered calls. And the strategy is pretty simple. Sell covered calls, extracting the highest amount of premium, while at the same time setting a strike price that is high enough above the cost basis in order to program in the profit from stock price appreciation in a deterministic manner. Let's take a quick look at some of the numbers supporting this ETF, stock symbol QYLD. To start with, the market's price closed at $22.59. The total amount of net assets for this exchange-traded fund is $1.94 billion, and it has an average trading volume of 1.5 million shares. Now, as far as returns go, we can see it's got a dividend yield of 11.49%, and from a volatility standpoint, it seems fairly tame with a beta value of only 0.74. Another thing to note is the expense ratio, which is 0.6% which in my opinion seems a little high, but maybe for the returns that they're providing, it's a worthwhile trade-off. So what exactly does the expense ratio of 6 tenths of 1% actually mean? Well, let's take a look at Investopedia and see what they say. They define an expense ratio, sometimes also known as the management expense ratio. It's a measure of how much of a fund's assets are used for the administrative and other operating and expenses. In other words, how much of the fund's assets are actually used for the management and operation of the fund itself. So with an expense ratio of 6 tenths of 1%, it means that for every $1,000 of assets in the fund, $6 is used for the management and operational costs. So in simple, real money terms, if I deposit $1,000 into this ETF, $6 goes towards paying the management and operational costs, and the remaining $994 is actually used for the investment purposes. Now don't misunderstand, I'm actually okay with paying the expense ratio for an ETF because I fully understand that the team that's involved with managing and operating the ETF, they're providing a professional service. And as with any professional, you have to expect to be reimbursed for providing such service. The entity that manages QYLD is called Mirai Asset. They have over 12,000 employees in 34 offices worldwide, which includes a diverse team of more than 100 financial professionals. The inception date of this ETF was December 11th of 2013, and it includes 103 holdings in its portfolio. You may view the holdings in this portfolio by visiting the URL displayed. This portfolio includes companies that you'll easily recognize, including Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, Google, Facebook, NVIDIA, PayPal, Comcast, Adobe, Intel, Netflix, Cisco Systems, Pepsi, Broadcom, Texas Instruments, T-Mobile, Costco, Qualcomm, and so on. So the management team of this ETF uses the shares included in this portfolio to sell covered calls. And in return, they collect profits from the premiums collected and also from the stock price appreciation. I have to admit, I'm really curious about the performance of this ETF because we both use the same method of selling covered calls in order to generate an income. So I decided to make a small investment in this ETF to see what kind of performance and, and profits I could receive from this investment. So I'm going to call this my lunch money experiment. I'm going to take the $10 that I spend every day for lunch and I'm going to invest it into QYLD and see what happens at the end of 30 days. Actually, I'm going to start today, April 28th, and we'll go to May 31st, 2021. So that'll be just over 30 days. So I promise to brown bag my lunch every day through March 31st and then take the $10 that I would have spent and put it into QYLD. If you like what you've seen so far in this video, do me a huge favor and smash that like button. And then on May 31st of 2021, we'll check out the results together and we'll find out. Is my account going to be up or is my account going to be down? 
So I'm going to create a recurring investment for ETF with the symbol QYLD. Next, I'll set up my recurring investment to occur on a daily basis. Then I'll specify to pull the funds from my buying power. And I'll specify the $10. That's my lunch money for the day. So I'm setting up a recurring order to buy $10 of QYLD every market day, Monday through Friday. So then I submit my order, it gets received, and now it's scheduled to occur on a daily basis. Would you like to get notified and see the option trades that I'm watching for the upcoming week? Then consider becoming a member of my Patreon because I'll be sharing a special exclusive video every week with my picks and option trading strategy. You'll receive access to my research notes, my analysis of each stock, and my planned execution strategy for each stock that I review. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.